Hi guys, it's Otto from Tron.com here and today you want to talk about the Tilt 50 wire-free RTS motor. It's a motor that allows you to uh, automate your Venetian blinds um, and the ones with a headrail and slats of 50 mm and larger. The reason why that is is that if we look at the motor, here it is. It needs some space inside of the headrail, so you need to have about 50 by 50 millimeters um, of space available. You can use uh, less height, so if it's 35 millimeters in height but still 50 wide, then you can also fit the motor, um, but you need more space than in the 25 millimeter uh, version. Now, if you look at the motor, it's a remote control motor. It works with the RTS protocol from Somfy, which means there are a number of RTS remote controls that you can use. Uh, we'll look at the best ones in a specific video, so in a separate video, um, but in general you can use any RTS remote control, even if you have a free channel on your remote control, you can use it to couple it with the, uh, with the uh, motor itself, and then you can use it. Um, Something else that's important, it's a 12 volt motor, which means that you don't necessarily need to have a power source very close. Again, we'll look at the power sources in a different video, um, but quickly name them. You can use a, a rechargeable battery wand, you can use a battery wand in combination with a solar panel, so it's always uh, fully charged, and you can use a transformer, so those are the three options. Um, and the main benefit of it being a 12 volt motor is that, of course, you don't necessarily need power um, close to your um, blind. So that means that you, uh, you don't have uh, cables running everywhere. Uh, you can use a, a pretty autonomous solution here. Now what else is important? Um, there's a big difference in terms of the placement of the motor. Uh, you have more options available now than ever before. Because as you can see here, there's an opening that runs right through the motor. That used to be just an opening here on the previous version. In the new version, the uh, axle can go straight through. And that allows you to place the motor both on the side or in the middle. And you can choose whichever position is most convenient. So there's no best position in terms of how it works. Uh, there's only best position in terms of how easy it is to integrate it into your Venetian blind. Um, and the integration should only take a few minutes. So it's one of the easiest motors and easiest projects you can actually take on. Now if you look at the shaft that, that uh, is going to be connected to the motor, there are three uh, possible diameters and sizes that, that fit these motors. Um, and it's a 6mm star shape, a 5mm star shape and a 5mm square. And with 5 and 6 I mean the diameter. Um, we have these adapters that are going inside the motor, you just push them in until they click. Um, and that makes them compatible with your uh, specific shaft of the Venetian blind. Now we always include these parts with the motor because you always need them. Even if the motor is a replacement for a previous version, you are going to need these parts because they're specific to this motor and the shaft that you have. So you cannot use reuse the old ones. So that's why we always include it with the motor. If you order it somewhere else, there's a very big chance that it's not included automatically and you'll need to order it separately and pay for it separately. The same goes for the brackets. Um, these are the new brackets. One goes on each side. And these are different from what we had before. Before there was sort of a tray, a rubber tray, in which the motor would fit. You would fit it in and you place the whole unit inside of the headrail. Uh, that's different now because um, it's this system now and you cannot reuse the old trays. The motor is slightly longer which means that if you try to push it in it won't fit, it's just too big. So again we include these parts with the motor so when you receive the motor you have all the, the, the adapters and these brackets to make sure they can install the motor. So whether it's a new motor, so a new project for automating blinds or it's a, it's a replacement motor, you always need these parts, so, which is why we, uh, we always include them. Just want to make sure that when you get the motor, you can actually get to work straight away and not wait for parts that you never knew you needed. So that's very important. Um, there are more options available as well, which we discussed separately, such as sensors, where you really automate the system, and um, if the sun becomes too bright, for example, you can automatically close your blinds. Uh, so there are, there are very... Um, um, interesting options that you can add to the motor itself. But that's it for this video. Um, 
I hope it's been useful and I hope it shows you the real differences between the previous version and the current version. If you have any questions, let me know, whether it's about automating the blinds or how to program them. Um, you can leave a comment below the video, I read those. Um, otherwise, you can also send me an email message, I'll mention the email in the description. In any case, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.